Hey, it's me, Tommy. This video is sponsored by Audio. So we're gonna talk about music licensing. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I use music services in my videos. I like to have music to the background of pretty much all of my videos for the most part. And licensing music is a sensitive topic or an emotional topic anyways for a lot of creators uh, particularly if you've ever gotten a copyright claim. So I'm not canceling any of my other music services. I like to have a variety, uh, several options. But what interested me most about what Audio is doing is they're currently offering until the end of August with the coupon code SAVE100. For $200, you get access to their 5,000 plus songs. It's a maintained library, so it's got between 50 and 100 songs added every week and you can use almost all of them on YouTube. Now I say almost all because I say 99% of the songs that I've looked at have this little gray icon on the platform that says approved for YouTube monetization. This actually is gonna go into some of my criticisms or feedback about the platform that hopefully maybe they can implement after they watch this video because they haven't seen this video before I published it. These are all my own thoughts and opinions. So when you're going through music on the platform, you can see which ones are approved for YouTube monetization. And there are a few that are not. I would prefer if the songs that were not approved for YouTube monetization, instead of the little gray ones that are approved, if it had like a little yellow icon that says not approved, either that or add a filter or something in my account settings that would even prevent any of the non-approved for YouTube monetization songs from even appearing on filtered results because I don't ever want to accidentally click on one or accidentally fall in love with a song that I can't use for YouTube. There aren't many on there, but I would prefer to just never see them. There's a separate plan called the Pro Plan, which if, if you use the coupon code ADD-VIP50, it makes it $100 a year. You can use all of their music for theatrical releases, Netflix, Hulu, and stuff like that. You can also use it for YouTube with that plan, but personally, I would recommend if you're like me and you only create content for YouTube, then I would recommend the $200 for a lifetime access to their library for YouTube because it's, it's a crazy value, 5,000 songs for 200 bucks. And the main reason I agreed to recommend this platform is because of the way their licensing works. Now, when I subscribe or buy a mu piece of music for YouTube, I want to make sure that if I'm using it on my channel, I don't ever want to receive a copyright strike for it and I want to be able to use it in perpetuity. So that means I want to create a library of music that I really like to use in my videos and then in a year and a half when I'm like, oh yeah, I want to use that song in this video, I can just plug it into the video and use it and then not worry about it. And that's how their licensing works. What I personally do is I favorite the songs that I want to download and use and then I can go see all of my favorites on the platform and then click download and then you'll get a screen called create license my youtube channel is my business and i do branded content so i just select business and then i pick internet as the type of license i click create license and i just go down and i do that for all of my music and then i go to my licenses in my account settings and then i download all the music and then i download all the licenses and then i'm done and then i can just use that music in all of my videos and i don't have to go through and do anything else this is another piece of feedback or suggestion for audio is I think it would be really cool if in my own personal account settings, I could add a default license type for all of my music because I would just select business and internet because I wanna just create that particular license for all of my music. I don't wanna make any other type of licenses. And it would be really convenient if I could just have the track and the license that was pre-configured uh, ready to go. I, w I don't want to have to go through that process for everything. I think another really cool feature, if they would implement it, would be to be able to subscribe to filter combinations. Suppose I only wanted to use cinematic electronic music or electronic hip hop with a sinister mood attached to it. I would love to be able to just hit notify me of new music with these filters. So anytime music is added to the platform with those filters, it would just send me an email with, hey, these songs were added. Then I could go to the website and listen to them and decide if I wanted to add them to my favorites and create licenses. And the last piece of like kind of pedantic or critical feedback I have is if you go through a heavy browsing session on their website and then you click on the listening history tab, 
it takes a really long time because it just loads all the music that you've listened to in some last period of time. And so that actually froze the browser on my computer. You know, maybe if they added like an infinite scrolling type thing, it wouldn't be such a problem, but that's just really a minor piece of feedback. Beyond that, I think what audio is doing, it's really easy to use. It's really similar to if you're familiar with Artlist, if their platforms are very similar in terms of how you navigate them. I really like that I can go through and click on the waveforms to play the song and then click on it again to just zoom in or to just track to that part of the song so I can listen to it. Because sometimes I don't really want so, because a lot of times I can get the feel for a piece of music really quickly and then I want to skip through the prelude and go right into like where the beat drops and like where the, the meat of the song is. So navigating music and finding tracks that I like is really easy doing it that way. Also a lot of the music on the platform is really, really good. In fact, there's this there's this one artist, Nate Good, he's on there. I mean, I would buy tickets to go listen to this guy perform in concert. Like, I think it's really good. You say you love me whenever you miss it. We fight and make up like it's family. That I never would again, but girl, I probably would. I had a good day going with a bad day. Personally, I did think it was a little bit more difficult to find music that vibed with me, I guess, that uh, was my style than it was with something like Artlist. But for the value of only having to pay for it one time and knowing that tracks are added every week, I feel like it's a deal that you can't really pass up. I did some research and I found that they did run this deal last year also, or maybe it was two years ago, but this deal does come around maybe once every year or two. So right now it's going through the end of August and I don't know when they're gonna run it again. And so if you wanna get access to their whole catalog uh, for $200, you can do it through the end of August and there's a link to where you can do that in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.